In the world of food photography, there are many different types of lenses that can be used to capture those perfect shots of your latest culinary creations. But with so many options on the market, it can be hard to know which one is the best for your needs. Here is a guide to help you choose the best lens for food photography, based on the type of shots you want to take. Our first choice is the Mic 85mm f1.8 Large Aperture Full Frame Auto Focus Telephoto Lens. At 85mm, it's perfect for food photography, and the large aperture allows for great depth of field control. The autofocus is fast and accurate, making it a great lens for both beginners and experienced photographers alike. This lens is specifically designed for food photography, and it will help you take mouth-watering pictures that will make your friends and family drool. Our second choice is Canon ZF 100mm f 2.8L is USM macro lens. This is a versatile tool for food photography. It has a fast maximum aperture and a built-in image stabilizer that makes it perfect for low-light situations. The lens also has a close focusing distance of just over 12 inches, making it ideal for capturing close-up shots of food. It has a number of features that make it ideal for this type of photography, including a fast maximum aperture and close focusing ability. This lens also has image stabilization, which is helpful when shooting in low light or with a slow shutter speed. If you need this product details please check our video description. You'll get the product link, you can buy this from there easily. Our third choice is the Canon RF 50mm f1.8 lens. This lens is designed specifically for Canon's mirrorless cameras and offers a wide aperture of f 1.8, making it perfect for low-light situations. It also has a close focusing distance of just 0.35m, so you can get up close and personal with your subject. At 50mm, it is the perfect focal length for shooting close-ups of dishes, and the fast aperture of f 1.8 allows for shallow depth of field and beautiful bokeh. The RF 50mm f1. Our fourth choice is the Canon EFS 24mm f2.8 STM lens. It's a compact and lightweight lens that's easy to carry with you, and it produces sharp images with beautiful bokeh. The wide field of view is great for capturing close-up shots of food, and the fast maximum aperture means you can shoot in low-light conditions without having to worry about image quality. This lens is perfect for close-up shots, and its wide aperture lets in plenty of light so your photos will always look bright and vibrant. Our fifth choice is the LightDAO 85mm f1.8 medium telephoto portrait lens. This is a great choice for anyone looking for a quality portrait lens on a budget. This manual focus lens is perfect for full-frame cameras and produces beautiful images with stunning bokeh. It's a great option for food photography, as the 85mm focal length is ideal for capturing close-ups of dishes. The fast aperture also allows you to shoot in low-light conditions and capture all the details of your food. It will help you capture stunning shots of your culinary creations. Our sixth choice is the Canon EF 75-300mm f4-5.63 telephoto zoom lens. This is a great option for anyone just starting out. It's affordable and easy to use, making it a great choice for beginners. With a focal length of 75 to 300 millimeters, it's perfect for capturing close-up shots of your food. This lens is versatile and easy to use, and it produces stunning images. With a focal length of 75 to 300 millimeters, it's perfect for capturing close-up shots of your food. And, with a maximum aperture of f4-5. Our last choice is Big Mike's High Power 500mm 1000mm f8 manual telephoto lens is a great option for food photography. It has a long focal length, which is perfect for getting close-up shots of your subject. The aperture is also large, allowing you to capture a lot of detail in your photos. The manual focus is great for getting the perfect shot, and the lens is also very affordable. I hope you are enjoying our video. If you like our video please subscribe our channel and give us a thumbs up. If you have any question let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.